So Neo just released another video of the ET9. Take a look, and it is of course none other than glasses with water on the ET9, demonstrating the stability, the suspension of the ET9. Let's watch this clip. So once again, man, we gotta have that glass on top, demonstrating suspension. First, we had potholes. This is very common, right? In every road, in any sort of road condition, potholes demonstrating. And they even filled it up with water just to show that, you know, there's not any sort of trickery going on. It is indeed going over those potholes. The car is not moving. The wheel is moving. That is absolutely amazing. And also, next we got these enormous speed bumps. They're more like tiny hills, I guess. Not exactly speed bumps, but you can see the car just effortlessly glides through it. I mean, like, that's just crazy. Uh, the car's not moving once again. That's that's insane to think about. Like, I'm, I'm just in awe about that. And then last but not least, we got pebbles. Pebbles, of course, demonstrating vibrations. And this should be pretty easy. Vibrations shouldn't be any sort of problem. Even with uh, modern Neos right now, vibrations are minimal. But man, interestingly enough, this was filmed in December and they're releasing it now. And it's more like uh, uh, they got stuff to slowly release to everybody to keep them, to remind them once again, you know, ET9 is still the best car. It's the best car. It's coming soon to remind everybody that, wow, this is an amazing vehicle. Now, something you guys probably did not know, uh, that suspension system the clear motion hydraulic suspension apparently it can scan the road and then make adjustments motorized adjustments in as little as one millisecond all right and it is apparently 1000 times faster than air suspension where air suspension you have to pump air into the into the chamber and you see a lot of cars some some of them with dual chamber air suspension even the ES8 has dual chamber air suspension but that's that's still slower compared to this hydraulic suspension and what's really amazing you see this clip it's going through all that uh obstacles and everything the the, the car actually regenerates some power while going through that this is the most mind-blowing thing with evs the one of the biggest benefits was of course going downhill regenerative braking you actually charge the battery when you're going downhill which is just a big uh, kick in the butt towards gasoline cars it's impossible to refill the gas while you're going downhill with gasoline cars so that's that was amazing but this is next level not only that but also if you're going through bumpy roads you also regenerate some power to the battery how insane is that i mean they're trying to get all sorts of ways to get power for the car i mean in the future with also with uh, if they get like really high efficient solar panels on top of the car man the car is going to be so energy efficient you'll, you'll be able to drive super far and not need to charge what's really cool is that everything we're seeing right now this is only like 20 percent of of everything that they're going to announce there's still like 80 percent of stuff that they did not talk about so it's very interesting to see what that's going to be like Okay, so obviously the chip, the capabilities of the chip, all right, what that's going to look like, that's not talked about. Is is it going to be like NOP Plus or L3, which is the rumored L3 for ET9, or what's it going to be like, L4? And we also don't have any specs, uh, anything about the interior. They didn't talk about the operating system, anything like that. I mean, damn, this is, this is some pretty insane stuff. And... Neo ordering 750,000 clear unit, uh, clear motion units. That means it's coming for at least 750,000 vehicles, Neo vehicles in the future. That means for the next like three, four years, Neo's vehicles are going to be pretty much all using clear motion hydraulic suspension. So you can expect that to be passed down to the ET7, the ES8, definitely. And then also uh, the EC7, ES7, uh, ES7 probably uh, might get removed. But yes, those vehicles will probably all have that hydraulic suspension, which would absolutely be amazing. And apparently there's so much stuff to talk about in terms of tech for the ET9 that they can host like five or six more launch events 
just talking about the ET9 and all the different uh, technology that you guys and I and everybody else do not even know about. Now, in terms of sales, could people be waiting for the ET9 and NT3.0 vehicles and not pull the trigger right now? And I think that is absolutely possible because with this level of change, all right, first of all, adding rear screens and also horizontal screens, and then also uh, s hydraulic suspension, lighter on the sides, that's probably going to be standard on NT3.0 vehicles going forward. So it's very possible that a lot of customers are waiting. And me, myself, I'm also eyeing the NT3.0 EC7. My dream car would be the EC7, right? So upgrading from my first gen EC6 right now that I'm sitting in to a third gen EC7 with the hydraulic suspension, with the LIDARs on the side as well, horizontal screens, and fairly comfortable seats. And I'll be like super happy with that car if uh, that comes out. And that's probably gonna be like three years out. All right, three years out probably. So maybe 2026 or 2027 is when we'll probably see that car. I can guarantee you that there's gonna be more clips like these that come out in the future. There's gonna be a lot more of these. If you've seen the champagne test video, you probably already know that already the ET9 has the best suspension in the world. My back, uh, the Auto L9 and Toyota, they don't they don't compare at all. I mean, it's for them, it's more like dampening. All right, they're dampening the 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 the, the road, the effect of the uneven road from the car. But the the car still moves relative to the road. Whereas with Neos, um, these suspension units, it's more like you're adjusting the car, the wheel, so that it matches the height of the road like that, so that the car doesn't move, the wheels move. Uh, that, that's that's the thing that can only be achieved with uh, these motorized hydraulic suspension that air suspension will never be able to do anything like this. So at the end of the day, Neos will have the best comfort in terms of riding, the most luxuriousness, the most ease of use in terms of swapping the most joyful lifestyle in terms of new houses the best service in terms of uh, repairs and everything and of course the most technologically advanced vehicles with the cars that they're building which is just absolutely nuts all right self-developed chip for uh, autonomous driving with their own image signal processing just absolutely crazy i mean they're already uh, one of the best, all right, the best in terms of AEB performance compared to the other guys. But this is just uh, going to level things up like even higher. Take things up from here. The competitors are here. Neo's here, but now with the ET9, Neo's are Neo is like up here, all right. So way better than the other guys. Some of you guys are worried. Oh, why is it delivery so so late? 2025. Look, there's still so much stuff that they have to tell you guys about announce all right and uh even though deliveries might not be super high for the et9 um the new manager did say that once people start riding this and test driving it they're gonna be like blown away by it and they're going to love it even more and i can't wait to test drive it as well uh, obviously I, i'm not gonna be buying that car uh, it's not a car for me 100 percent once more people more bosses get to sit inside it experience it know what they're paying for they'll realize that it's absolutely worth every single penny and that's when you'll see actually decent sales for the et9 as always stay safe stay healthy peace out